Hello, this is just a quick personal video tutorial, so no fancy video editing whatsoever. I record the whole thing in one part. It's about retexturing the orcish bow and you can use your image editor like GIMP or Photoshop only. I'm using Mudbox as well to show you the difference. So here we go. This is the original orcish bow from the orcish bow NIF file. This is orcish bow DDS, the original texture. This is my quick edit to show the difference and finally a paint layer to show the different position on the UV map. So as you already mentioned you have no idea about positioning of the UV map so this is how it looks. The big part is part of the quiver and there are several parts of the quiver and the arrow like here and here and this is how it looks with paint. So, green area is the handle, yellow is the main part of the bow, front side, aquamarine is the back side, red is the string, and pink is the sling. This is how it looks on the UV map. And now the whole thing in Photoshop. Please don't ask me anything about GIMP, I have no idea. I'm using Photoshop for years now. And this is the original texture. This is my quick edit and to recreate the whole thing. In fact, it's uh, in Photoshop like uh, copying the original layer and play around with different settings like uh, color tone and color the whole thing like this and more saturation and play around with layer settings and delete unnecessary parts like handle I don't want a golden handle Copy the layer once again and use different settings now like this, maybe with less opacity. And once again I delete unnecessary parts like screws or play around with different settings. It's uh, just a rough overview to give you an idea. It takes much longer to explain the whole thing in detail. Uh, and finally in the end I sharpen the whole thing, maybe I try to delete parts like dirty areas. In Photoshop I'm using the repair tool or the stamp like this. So I stamp away the dirt. Same down here. Might take several hours if you want the perfect version. My version took me about 10 minutes. Okay, and here is the painted version to show the different parts. As I already mentioned, body front yellow, body back side is this bluish color, red is the string, pink is the sling, and green is the handle. And when you get something like this, you have to edit the whole thing in NIF scope as well. So here we go. This is Orkish Bow NIF. And in the knee tree shape, here are the most important settings, BS Lighting Shader properties. Down here in the texture set, you can change the texture paths. And I changed the cube map, the normal metal to gold. And in the shader properties, you can change the strength of this cube map and the uh, uh, normal map over here, at the moment it's free. You can play around with different lightning settings, specular strength and a different specular color. This if you want a goldish glow and a glossiness of the item. Don't touch alpha and over here you can change the emissive color and with these settings and the texture I showed you before, it looks like this in-game. So if you want less uh, lightning or 
less dirt whatsoever try around with different settings play around with the texture in GIMP and yeah I guess that's it it's just a rough overview to give you an idea about the whole process so I hope it helped and have a nice day see you around ciao bye bye